Let G be a graph with 100 factorial vertices with each vertex labeled by a distinct permutation of the numbers 1, 2 up to 100. There is an edge between vertices U and B if and only if the label of U can be obtained by swapping two adjacent numbers in the label of V. Let Y denote the degree of a vertex in G and Z denote the number of connected components in G. Then Y plus 10Z equal to dash. This is a question from graph theory. Though the question appears to be complex, it's actually a simple question. I'll show you how to do it here. So here we have been given a graph G having 100 factorial vertices. Obviously 100 factorial is a very large number. We can't draw that graph and try to find the answer to this. But we can draw smaller similar graphs and try to find out patterns from it. So I'll try to draw a graph with two factorial vertices first. Now 2 factorial is 2. There will be 2 vertices. That will be 1, 2 and 2, 1. So how can we add, a edge, add an edge between 2 vertices is there is an edge if and only if the label of u can be obtained by swapping 2 adjacent numbers in the label of v. So let's take any vertex and if we can swap any 2 adjacent numbers and get the label of a different vertex there will be an edge between those 2 vertex. So 1 and 2 there is only one swapping which can be performed that is 2, 1. Obviously that is this vertex so there will be an edge between these two vertices. So this is the graph with two factorial vertices. The degree of each vertex is 1 here. So y is denoting the degree of each vertex and the number of connected components is also 1 which is z. This forms one simple connected component. So for this graph y is 1 and z equal to 1. Now let's try a graph with three factorial vertices. Three factorial is 6. So there will be 6 vertices for this graph and those will be given as 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, etc. These are the 6 vertices. Vertices. Now let's try drawing edges. Let's take the node 1, 2, 3. There are two ways we can swap adjacent elements and form a different label. So we can swap 1 and 2. In that case, we will get 2, 3, 1. That is this node. So we will form an edge here. Also one more ways we can swap 2 and 3 to get 1, 3, 2. That is this node. So that is denoted by this edge. So from this node there will be two edges. Similarly from each node we can try the same and we'll see that this is the final graph. So here the degree of each vertex is 2. So y is 2 and z is again 1. This entire thing forms a connected component. So now we can see that patterns are starting to form here. Let us take a look at this full graph now. It has 100 factorial vertices. Now let's take one sample vertex from this graph that is 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 100. This is, forms one of the permutations of the numbers from 1 to 100. Now we need to swap two adjacent elements from here. From 1 and 2 I can, uh, from up to 1 to 100 I can swap 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 or 3 and 4 up to here. 99 or 100 we can swap. So we can do this swapping in 99 ways and obtain a new node. So from this node there will be 99 edges going outside. So the number of the degree of this vertex will be 99. So this follows our pattern. For 2, it, the y was 1. For 3, y was 2. Here it will be 99. That is proven here. Now again, these two graphs, if you look, this forms one full connected component. Similarly, for here also, whatever swapping I do, I can always reach one other permutation in 100 factorial permutation using any number of swaps. So finally the full graph will be one single connected component. You can try out and verify it for yourself. So the number of connected components here will be 1. So z will be 1. y will be 99. So the answer is y plus 10z that is 99 plus 10 into 1 which is 109.